Hi, Scott Bass, CFWI with Outer Banks Flight. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about simplified flight planning with what I call the four fix flight plan. Now this kind of flight planning uh, works very well with just about any kind of cross-country flight, IFR or VFR. Uh, the way this works is we use four basic fixes to define three segments of each flight. A departure segment, an en route segment, and an arrival segment. I'm going to talk about a typical flight I might take. My aircraft is based at the Johnston County Airport, Smithfield, North Carolina. I'm originally from and frequently fly to Dare County. It's coastal North Carolina at Mantia. A direct flight from Johnston County to Mantia carry us through an MOA and some restricted airspace that the military uses just west of the Dare County Airport. So obviously I can't fly GPS direct from Johnston County to Mantia. So what we'll do here is we'll use an example of the four fixed flight plan. And first I'll establish two fixes that define the different segments of the flight. The first segment begins at Johnston County Airport and goes to the Braid intersection, B-R-A-D-E. This is about 10 miles northeast of the Johnston County Airport. So I can depart and fly to Braid and during my en route climb, and I'll arrive at my en route altitude somewhere around the Braid intersection. And at that point, the departure phase of my flight and all the tasks that are defined by the departure phase of the flight are completed. So now I'm at Braid, I'm at the en route altitude, I'm trimming for level flight, and I'm setting up everything for the en route phase. Now the en route phase goes from the Braid intersection to another intersection, which is about 45 miles from Dare County. It's the RMAC intersection, R-M-A-C-K. And in the en route phase, what am I doing? I'm following my chart. I'm checking my speed in the ETA. I'm transferring between air traffic control frequencies, updating my altimeter, verifying my GPS position against the closest VOR and sometimes just generally being kind of bored. When I reach the RMAC intersection, this begins the arrival segment of the flight. This is the point where I'm preparing for my descent and approach into the Dare County Airport. I typically plan arrival segments between 20, say actually 30 to 40 miles from the destination airport. This allows ample time to get the weather, select the approach, set up your gear, and land the plane. And you're not in any kind of rushed or hurried fashion. So once I cross RMAC, I listen to the AWOS or the ASOS or the ATIS of the destination airport. Get the winds, get the visibility, get the ceiling, and the altimeter setting. I'll update the altimeter in the aircraft. I'll talk to air traffic control and determine what approach I'm going to fly when I get to the destination airport. I'll set up my avionics for that approach. And then it's all about flying the approach and establishing the proper airspeed on final in preparation for landing. Using the four fix system, and defining each flight into three separate phases, departure, en route, and arrival, allows us to go ahead and establish what tasks need to be performed in each phase of flight. In doing that, we can carry out each flight in a relatively smooth, logical, and unhurried fashion. For longer flights, this flight, for example, uh, is approximately 135 miles. The last 40 miles or so being from Armac to Mania. But you're going to fly longer flights occasionally. Uh, in GA aircraft you may fly a flight that's two or three hundred miles between the point of departure and the destination.
Station Airport. And in those flights, you're still going to use basically the four fixed flight plan because what this does is the basic four fixes define the departure segment, the beginning and ending of the en route segment, and then the arrival segment. So if you have a longer flight, you simply may have a few additional fixes during the en route phase. But in essence, what you're still flying is a four fix flight plan. Now we'll talk a little bit about approach planning in the next video. Any questions? Okay, let's do some exercises.